what's up you guys um really quick just want to let y'all know my toddler is here so in case you hear like some noises or whatever that's her but yeah so in february of 2021 i got my body done with dr mcadoo in miami he did lipo 360 and then he transferred the fat to my um hips and let me just tell y'all, I love my body. My body was so perfect. I was so happy with my results. And then I went ahead and I made a terrible, terrible decision to get on birth control, y'all. Like, I don't know why I even thought that that was something that I should have done. But yeah, I'm like, oh, I'm not going to ruin this body. So I don't want to get pregnant. And then... I ended up gaining the weight anyway. So yeah, I ended up getting Nexplanon, which is like a little, it's like, it's the implant. That's what they call it. And it's like a little stick, a little whatever that they put on the inside of the left of your arm. You guys could go ahead and read all about that. But let me just tell y'all the side effects that affected me the most. Number one, I went from 135 pounds to 170 pounds within like four months. It was crazy. Like I would literally have my period for two weeks every month. I would get it for a week and then it would stop for a few days and then I would get it again for another week. It was horrible. You guys, my face was breaking out like crazy. Like it looked disgusting. I was extremely insecure. I mean, my scalp was dry. Everything was just really, really bad. I even started editing my pictures on Instagram. Now, don't get me wrong. I've always edited my pictures. Like that's just something that I'm into. But I felt like I never really went this extreme when it came to my body. You know what I mean? But I just felt like, you know, I had to keep up with the image. I was just posting all these sexy pictures of me and my amazing body. And then it was like overnight, I turned into like a bear. I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, I still try to put like a few little videos just because videos are way more realistic than pictures. You know, pictures, even with or without edit, angles are going to lie. So that's why I went ahead and I included these videos. But let me tell you, I was doing everything in my power to lose the weight. I got on a keto diet. I went to the gym. I was working out. I even cut my hair. I don't really know what that had to do with, any with anything. But yeah, I did it anyway. And no, it didn't make a difference. And guys, don't mind my form here. I am new to the gym. We are going to get better and you guys are going to follow along with me. But yeah, so I just wanted to include that. But finally, <laughs> I went ahead and I took it out. So now we're going to be starting our fitness journey. What's up, you guys? So for the most part, I already like mentioned all the important stuff. Um, I do want to mention I'm five feet. That's important, you know, just to... So y'all can know my weight, whatever. Technically speaking, I am considered obese. As of right now, today, I weigh 163 pounds. I lost seven pounds within the past three weeks. Woo woo. Congrats to me. But yeah, um, I just felt like that was important to mention. You know, a lot of people they talk about their weight, but then they don't mention their height. And it's like, you know, 170 for me may be obese, 170 for you may be healthy. So yeah. Um, my goal is to get down to 145. If I decide to keep going after that, we'll see. Um, after I had gotten my surgery, I weighed 135, which was my goal weight. And I was 100% satisfied. I was extremely happy. But even back then, you know, I, I felt like, oh, maybe I want to be a little thicker. So right now, my goal isn't really to focus on my weight. I definitely do feel that losing a good 15 to 20 pounds just for health reasons would be a good start for me. But, you know, after I lose those pounds, I'm not going to really focus too much on weight. I'm going to more so focus on just being healthy, period. And my goal with starting my fitness journey more than anything, and I think it's the number one thing that everyone should do prior to starting it or even prior to getting surgery is just really truly focus on self-love because if you do not love yourself you're never gonna stop after i got my body done i want to say about a month later i went and got my lips done and you know even though that's not something that i regret because it's something that i always wanted done even like from since i was like 18 years old that was something that i wanted done and i felt like it was something that I wouldn't say need it, but it was something that I, I strongly, strongly wanted done. But even after that, you guys, like I started, like it was just a lot. Like it was a lot of stupid stuff. Like I'm like, oh, I'm going to go get like the, fo the fox eyes and I'm going to go do that. And I realized like, girl, you sound crazy. You're perfectly fine. 
you want to have a fox eye to some liner that day like it's not that big of a deal you know what i mean and doing all these changes when it comes to surgery is just it's not safe and outside of it not being safe you guys you got to keep up with these results you can't just get your body done and then think oh i got my body done i'm set for life no after you get your body done, a lot of these girls are going round after round after round after round because you will gain that weight back. I don't know who said you don't, but you do. You gain that weight back and then outside of even gaining the weight back, you are going to lose the shape. You know what I mean? So when I got my, my body done, my butt was a lot more rounder than it is now. Why? Number one, I gained weight. So because that's where the fat was transferred, that's where I gained the most weight. And naturally, like I said, just with my background and my genetics, naturally, my family is built to be smaller at the top and then bigger at the bottom. So my weight starts off going to the bottom. So my calves and my thighs are extremely extremely big and then i feel like you know like my butt it's not even that it's too big it's just like it lost the shape that my doctor gave me when he did my surgery you know he added it to my hips but now because i'm gaining weight my natural hip dips that i had are coming back you know it's just a lot so I say that to say that even after you get your body done, you have to work out. You have to eat healthy. You can't just go back to thinking you're going to be eating McDonald's. No, you got to eat right. You got to eat healthy. You got to take care of your body. You can't just let your body do whatever it wants to do. No, you have to train it to do what you need it to do. So I say that to say whether you're starting a fitness journey, whether you're preparing to get surgeries on, whatever you're doing, number one, love yourself. Number two, come up with a routine. Number three, stay consistent. Without consistency, you're never going to see results. You're always like, you're just never going to get anywhere without consistency. Yeah, so I weighed myself today. I'm currently at 162 pounds. I did measure myself on camera. I'm not 100% sure yet if I'm going to use that footage because my daughter was wilding out. But if I don't use the footage, um, I'm a 34th triple D. My waist is, I think it was like 29 and then my hips, 48. And my thighs, 27 and a half. Crazy. So right now, my goal is to go down to about 145, 140-ish. I would like my waist to be about a 25. I would like my hips to go down to about 45, 44. And I would like my thighs. My thighs are like my biggest, biggest problem. I would like my thighs to be 24 maybe even 23. Like, I just feel like my thighs are so thick. Everyone loves my thighs, but my thighs for me are my biggest insecurity. If I don't lose the weight, like more than anything, my concern isn't even the fact that they're this big. My biggest concern is just the fact that they're not toned. Like they're super duper blubbery. Like, like the way my arm does that. Oh, I forgot to measure my arms, but my arms aren't like a huge concern, so whatever. Next time I record, I'm trying to remember to um, measure my arms, but yeah. So my biggest, biggest goal is just to just be toned. You know, I'm not going for a super strong look. I'm not going for a bunch of muscles. I just want to be nice and I think lean is the word, but I don't know if that's the word because I'm thick. I don't know. I just want to be nice and tone that's my you're goal gonna, so, you're yeah. not gonna be healthy like if you're not healthy mentally you're not gonna be healthy physically so that's the most important thing um before we end this video i am going to i'm gonna take this off obviously but i am going to measure myself on camera i've already weighed myself so i don't really feel like i have to do that on camera but yeah i'm gonna just do like a little 360 so that you guys can see how my body looks get that out your mouth and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to measure myself so that in about three months or six months or next week, <laughs> whenever we decide to come back, we will have, you know, something to. So first of all, I'm going to relax because I have a habit of like sucking in. And for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to be sucking in. So this is what I look like. Oh, and another thing that I um, forgot to mention. So before I decided to commit 100% to my fitness journey, I did reach out to another doctor 
just to get a quote for a breast lift and a reduction or an implant exchange and a reduction. And then I wanted to do ab tucking. So if you guys don't know what ab tucking is, it's basically just fake abs. Like they do the whole lipo technique and they make your stomach look like you have abs, but in fact, you don't have abs. It's just fat and you have lines. And he informed me that because of my two pregnancies, I do have, what is it called? Srepti diasis. I'm gonna um, put the name somewhere in there. It's like rugby diasis. It's something in your stomach where basically like your muscles are separated from having multiple births. So no matter what, this is always gonna have like, like I'm always gonna have like the pregnancy pouch. Now obviously like on Instagram when I take pictures, I'm like sucking in. I usually sit on my tippy toes. So, you know, I don't, I don't look like this, you know, when I take pictures, but this is, this is the real. So yeah, this is what I'm looking like. This is what we looking like. And yeah, see me in about three months. But before we um before we end this video, I'm gonna get some measurement tape and I'm gonna measure. Um, I'm not gonna do my bust just because I already know I just did that and I already know that I'm a 34 triple D. So I'm just gonna do my waist. And I'm gonna do my hips now. After I got my body done, I was 26, 45, and then my thighs were, I believe, 25. So I gained a lot of weight, and we're gonna go ahead and record now. So my waist, and this is me relaxed, you guys. Is that about? 29, 29 and a half ish. And my hips, we're gonna close. 48. 48. And then my thighs, which are like the problem area. Oh Lord, sweet baby Jesus. We're looking at a 27 and a half for my thighs. So yeah, back up. We're not gonna talk about goals too much yet. We're just gonna reach them. And y'all gonna see me when we reach them. We we here y'all, we starting. I'm gonna do another follow-up video within, I don't really know when, probably a month to three months just showing you guys my progress and I'm going to include some before and after pictures. But yeah, so if you need that little extra push to start your fitness journey or you're debating if you want to start your fitness journey or get surgery, girl, listen, whatever you decide, start that fitness journey today, now, right now, not tomorrow, but right now. I don't care if it's 6 a.m. I don't care if it's 3 a.m. I don't care what time it is. Get up, start it now. You could do home workouts. You could, if you have a gym in your building, utilize that gym in your building. Kids should not be an excuse. Incorporate your kids in your workout. I'm going to be posting a mommy and me at home workout. Stay tuned for that. Listen, find the time, whether you got a long job, whether you work a lot, whatever it is, trust me when I tell you, you make time for what you want to make time for. It's never too late. Old, young, fat, skinny, whatever. Start your fitness journey, not now, but right now.